Hi, hi, hello, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you are doing well. You're the best. You're amazing. Appreciate you clicking on this video. Let's talk about a bar that has turned up and is making waves that is off of this new Drake and 21 Savage album. I have not heard it yet at the time of recording this video, but I thought that uh, this this line was worth addressing because not only is it uh, pretty shitty, but I think it's also indicative of a larger trend I'm seeing in a lot of popular hip hop songs at the moment. So here it is, read it and weep. I think it's pretty obvious uh, who that's about and what that's about and frankly really disgusting invalidating uh gross and totally uncalled for and i don't really know uh what the hell would drive such a bar in the first place especially during a time when uh, women seem to be doing better than ever in terms of fan base uh, variety number of artists and performers out there especially when you're putting some of these artists head to head in like a double xl cipher or something like that and uh, the dudes are coming across asleep and fucking comatose and have no energy whatsoever. And the girls are actually rapping, rapping, rapping. And I think they've gotten to a point of growth and relevancy to where they are a necessity uh, for hip hop music at the moment. I can't really imagine what the game would look like if we didn't have the Cardis and the Megans and the Doja Cats and the Rhapsodies, uh, even the More Mothers, as well as uh, the, the Ice Spices too, uh, out there doing their thing. So look, the ladies seem to be here to stay and that's a good thing, that's a great thing, but uh, the boys' response to this I don't think has been all that great or healthy or helpful. Like rather than embracing uh, their better halves artistically and, and treating them like the peers that they are, what I'm often seeing is that we have artists who repeatedly are putting the names of these women in their bars as like a joke or some kind of objectification dig, or even just like having their name in their fucking song title. Like how many songs out there are titled Doja right now? And how many more will come down the pipe? Uh, where of course it's titled that because uh, some rapper just wants to throw out one dumb spare bar where it's like, huh, I'd really like to uh, have sex with that Doja cat. Furthermore, we just had NLE Choppa uh, announce a track titled Ice Spice, and it's literally Ice Spice on the goddamn cover of the song. And now we have this corny ass Drake and Megan shit that like he's clearly only saying for the clicks and the attention. He's literally farming for attention off of this woman's name by disrespecting her overtly. And uh, while he's cool with that, uh, he will then turn around and send a cease and desist to that Izzy Drake guy or Izzy famous guy now uh, because he doesn't want him pretending too much that he's Drake or saying OVO tings because uh, he's, he's profiting off of Drake's brand. You'll say this absolutely out of pocket stuff about another artist, but having a celebrity impersonator is like going too far for you, especially when you're a world famous celebrity, the kind of person who usually has a celebrity impersonator. Do you see Barack Obama flagging down Bronx Obama and telling him, no, oh no, you, you can't do that. Obviously, Drake is the type of guy to react first when he feels like, oh, I'm being talked about or treated unfairly or in a way that I don't like. And yet he'll turn around and say something like this <laughs> and act after the fact that, well, well, how, well, how come nobody likes me? To cast a wider net here and draw back, I will say, and just advocate for the idea uh, that guys, uh, fans and artists alike, please, Start respecting and taking your uh, female counterparts in the industry seriously because uh, they deserve it. And guys, look, if you want the attention of these women rappers, it's not that fucking hard. Uh, you could be nice. You could be respectful. You could feature them on your music. You could feature on their music. You could treat them and interact with them as if they are any other artist uh, that you would because they are, in fact, any other artist. In the long run, there will be way more benefits off of operating in that authentic and respectful way than just fucking... Uh, throwing out spare bars about how you want to fuck them, which honestly, like nobody really cares about other than snickering teenage boys, which admittedly I'm very much one at heart, but 
Uh, with that being said, you can't allow that to be like your only drive and perspective in life. Grow the fuck up. Get some range. Gain some layers. Just add some uh, spice and variety to your perspective, please. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or a link to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Anthony Fantano, uh, gross ass bars, uh, res respect women uh, forever.